the first thing you want to do is go to fiverr.com slash start undersource selling and click the sign up button. Now be careful, there's actually two types of accounts you can sign up for, either a seller account or a buyer account. Now, while a buyer account can still switch to sell and seller accounts can still switch to buy, by creating a seller account from the start, you're signaling to Fiverr you're serious about actually selling and making a business around it rather than just checking it out. Stay tuned because I'm gonna be talking about the five main reasons why people get shadow banned on Fiverr from setting up their account. You wanna pay attention because these five easily avoidable mistakes will destroy your ability to freelance and get sales on Fiverr. Now, the first reason when signing up is creating duplicate accounts. Fiverr has a strict one account policy. Now, while I talk about having a buying versus selling account, which might have a small difference, it's largely not as important as making sure you don't have duplicate accounts on Fiverr. If there's an account you haven't used in years, don't worry about it. But if you actively use one account on Fiverr, this is what you'll want to want. If you already have an account on Fiverr, even if it's a buying account, don't worry about it. You can still switch to selling. Although this might make a small difference, it's much better than taking the risk of having multiple accounts, which Fiverr can either give you a strike or shut you down for. Now, when you're on this page here, we can go ahead and tap this become a seller button and we can use many methods but for this way i'm just going to continue with email and we'll want to use an email and password now tip number two that will help you on fiverr is to use a business email now while you can still sign up with a personal email by signing up with a business email once again you're signaling to fiverr that you're serious about freelancing this could mean that you have your own portfolio website and while fiverr is not going to individually check each sign up they're just going to see that it's a business email which could mean that you personally are a business, which is a good sign that shows that you are serious about selling and not just a casual freelancer. Once you've gone back, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to enter in my email and now I'll type in my password here. The next step is to choose a username. Now when choosing a username, it's important to think about what you're going to be selling on Fiverr. By this point, you should have already kind of figured that out. And a good idea of selling on Fiverr is to create a brand identity across all of your works. So your profile picture, your description, your username, and your gig image all working together. So a good way to do this could be to take your first name and blend it in with the gig that you're offering. So if you're offering design, you could do Rick Designs. Or if you're offering voiceovers, which I'm doing in this case, you could do Jeff Voiceovers or Voiceovers by Jeff. You could do your name and what you do. Again, there's a lot of freelancers in Fiverr, so you're gonna have to mess around and make sure what you're doing isn't taken, but if your name is Jeff and you're doing voiceovers, you could do voiceover Jeff. This works well because it makes it clear to your Fiverr buyers what your main skill is and what you're good at, and also injects a little bit of personality, which is great when working on Fiverr. As you'll see when working on Fiverr and setting up your account, injecting personality is one of the best things that you can do to guarantee your sales, as it helps you relate to the buyer and outcompete a lot of other Fiverr gigs out there that lack this element and just seem super artificial. Fiverr will ask you to confirm your email, so let's go ahead and do this real quick. And now we've gone ahead and activated our account. Now, once you're on this page, just go ahead and hit the I'm a freelancer button. Now let's navigate over to the profile page here. If you weren't taken here already and click the become a seller button, you should be looking at a page that looks something like this. And now let's continue here. Here, Fiverr is gonna give you a few tips. You can take these into mind, but I'm also gonna give you my tips beyond these to take your profile to the next level. And there's a few things I'll tell you to stick clear of. Again, keep clear of these and I'll give you advice. Now Fiverr's gonna ask you for your full name. You need to give this, this is private. Don't worry, it's not gonna get out anywhere other than on this page right here. Display name, this is where you're gonna put your display name that you want people to see. You can do your full name. I think this helps really get some personality across the more you give here, but if you're not comfortable with that, you can do your, your first name, last initial, you can do your first name and then your service. So as you mentioned, voiceover Jeff, that would work. But I'm gonna do my full name as I really feel like this really helps get the personality across, as I'm gonna continue to emphasize across the creation of this profile. Now, next step here is for the profile picture. Now, again, this needs to be a picture of you. And ideally, it's a picture, a professional photo that someone has taken of you. Not a selfie, not a casual shot. Let's make sure this is a high quality picture. If you don't have one, I highly recommend you have a friend just take a picture of you, or you can even set it on timer mode. Ideally, a full body shot. Right here, I'm just using a face shot as this is all I have right here. For, but ideally, the shot is further back. This again, a lot of people won't use a picture of themselves. So this is an opportunity for you to inject more personality into your photo and get it across. If you are a voiceover guy, this could be a photo of you with a microphone. If you're a design guy, this could be you holding up a design. But make sure this photo really captures you and is professional at the same time. This will go a long way. 
Now, before we get any further on this, what I recommend you guys do is go on Fiverr and look for other examples of other successful sellers and what they have done. Now, because this guy Jeff is a voiceover guy, I'm gonna pull up other voiceover artists and see what their bio looks like so we have some inspiration to go off of here. This is great because these people are successful, getting tons and tons of clients, so we can write something similar here. Now, when looking for inspiration, my method for writing your description is pretty simple. What we wanna do here is first, and if you follow my method, it should be a few step process. The first one here is you wanna put your qualifications. So in this case, I'm a voiceover artist with 10 plus years of experience with features on where have you been featured on. If you haven't been featured anywhere big, you don't have to put this on here. Just years of experience goes a long way, saying the years of experience or some way to qualify yourself about why they should work with you. Now, after we do this qualification, we wanna inject just a little bit of personality. By creating a qualification here that's not too specific, but also not too broad, you can really increase the amount of people that will wanna work for you because you seem specific and tailored to exactly what they wanna do. Now, while these examples I'm giving here are for a guy doing voiceovers, you can apply these same principles if you're doing design and just change up these words I'm using for talking about design. If you are a UI designer, are you designing for iPhone apps for entrepreneurs that wanna bring their ideas to life? This is very vague, but it's still personal and allows you to get across to the other person and not just feel like a computer screen and actually feel like you're talking and engaging with a real person on the other end here. Now, finally, the third part of your bio should be a qualification. Right here, I said looking to work with entrepreneurs who wanna bring their ideas to life. Now, if I'm an entrepreneur and I'm looking for a voiceover guy, I'm gonna be more likely to want to work with the voiceover guy that specifically says that he loves to work with entrepreneurs rather than the one who's vague and open-ended and wants to work with anyone. That would be a very broad specific. Or are you a UI designer that loves working with modern designs? Are you a UI designer that loves working with food designs? That'd be getting even more specific. What is your specialty? How can you use yourself to qualify to buyers and also disqualify buyers that you do not want to work with? Now, finally down here, you're gonna put your language at the bottom, your native language, of course, on here, um, and then whatever language you are also fluent or conversational. I highly recommend you put English there in some context as the majority or a large percentage of Fiverr clients are going to be English and want you to speak in English. So even if you're having to rely on translation for part of it, I highly recommend that you're putting down English as a language that you can at least speak conversationally. Now Fiverr is gonna ask you for your occupation. Regardless of what your occupation actually is, you want this to match the skill that you're offering on Fiverr. So in this case, we're offering voiceovers, so we're gonna make sure that our occupation is itself voiceovers. This goes for if you're a designer, make sure your career, your occupation is design, or whatever your skill is, you wanna make sure this matches up, even if you have a main career in your real life that's something else. And then when putting the years of experience, you wanna make this as broad as possible. Even if you really got serious about learning voiceovers, just last year, if you had done voiceovers in any capacity for six years, let's put six. If design, and when did you really even start looking at design at all? Let's put that time here because these, this, these years of experience, although it's a small detail, it's a detail that can go a long way. Seeing someone with one year of experience, even if that's when you really started getting serious about it, rather than six years, when, when you kind of like started dabbling, go with six, as these small things are gonna add up and really start to bring your profile to life. Moving on to skills. Once again, just like the occupation, we want these skills to be related and complementary to what your main offering on Fiverr is going to be. So for voiceovers, this is where we want them to really match up and either match completely or be complementary. If you're a UI designer, you want these skills to match up with UI design. Once again, we're making these for our voiceover guy, Jeff. So we're gonna make these skills line up with his main offering of voiceovers. Now, when you're typing in your skill, just a little trick here, you wanna make sure this is lining up with a skill that's already in their system. So if you put in a skill here and then it says pending after you click it in, you're gonna to wanna to delete that and find one that actually shows up when you type it in. These pending skills, I find that Fiverr will not actually ever verify them as they have a lot bigger things to do. And you can usually find a skill that actually is what you meant to put in that is listed under something else. So in this case, uh, voice talent wasn't there, but voice over, radio voice over, I'm gonna say I'm an expert at. And just a little trick here, even if you're not, I would say your main skill you should put you're an expert at. It's gonna let you put a few skills, so I recommend you put a complementary skill on here as well. So we're putting three different voiceover skills that we are an expert at, radio, TV, and narration. Now we're also great here at audio mastering, which would be a very complementary skill as you would probably want great audio masters from who does your voiceovers, but we aren't quite an expert at this intermediate. So that shows in a great example of 
skills that align with your profile and the complementary skill thrown in there to show that you have a range of what you can do. Moving on to education. This is where you can put your education if you went to a college or university. If you did, I highly recommend, once again, you highlighted it, even if you went to college for a different major, because you can still put your college here without completely listing what your major is. Now, select your degree and your major. Again, you can put something very general on the major if you didn't actually major in what you're offering on Fiverr. I put vocal performance for our guy here, but we could really broaden it out what his degree was and find something that matched even if he didn't major in vocal performance to still show that he has education in some sort of related field. Certificates are gonna be more common. Now, if you have a certificate, highlight everything that you can find. Again, these aren't gonna 100%, whereas universities had to match up something they have in their system, you're gonna be able to put anything on these certificate forms. As long as you actually have a certificate, or one that matters, you can put it on here and list it. So I highly recommend having a few certificates on here Although not a lot of clients are gonna see these, still having a few certificates here can put you over the edge when a certain client is really deciding between you or another freelancer. Now at the very bottom here is a spot to put your personal website. Now this personal website link is private. It will not be posted in your profile, but by putting your personal website here, this can again signal to Fiverr that you are serious about freelancing on here as you have your own personal website to offer your services. Although it's not guaranteed, they may use these signals to list you higher and preferably they may use these indicators to give you preferential treatment. Now we've gone through all the steps involved on creating an account. You can go ahead and add your phone number to verify it too, which will help keep your account secure and make sure your account is completely furnished before moving on to the next step. Now, with all that out of the way, you have now set up your account. Now there's one last thing to do before you set up your account and you can navigate back to the profile here. And this is adding your tagline. And I'll show you one example of tagline right here. Again, we are trying to make sure all the elements of your profile align and work together. So this should be something that's kind of cool, kind of injects some personality, but also captures what you do. So right here, I'm just saying I help capture your story via voice. This is kind of a personal way of just saying once again, that this is a voiceover artist, but he's not just making the voiceover, he's helping capture your story. So some bit of personality, I'm sure there's many ways you can work this. And if you really can't think of something yourself, I'm sure you could ask ChatGPT for a little help in that department. With this being said, you completely set up your Fiverr profile. If you really want to preview it and see what it looks like to other people, you can press the preview Fiverr profile button and see what it looks like to other people, which can be good and you can compare yourself versus other people in the space to make sure your profile is really standing out and has all the elements it needs. Now, once you have your profile set up, you're all ready to start listing your gig, which I'll talk about in another video on my channel right here. If you want to know how to launch your gig, now that you've had your profile all the way set up, you're now ready to become a seller and launch your gig on Fiverr. I have a whole video talking about that, but even better than that, I have a free course aligning every single step of the way how you can launch from creating your gig to launching to getting your first few sales and scaling up to earning over $150 an hour, working with numerous clients across Fiverr.